Your journey starts beneath southern skies, where glacier and ocean meet. A land where giant eagles once guarded the skies, where streams that run hot feed rivers that run cold, and where warrior princesses know how to warm your heart. Kia ora and welcome to the 2013 World Rafting Champs in Rotorua, New Zealand. My name's Tuck and I'll be bringing you coverage over the next two weeks as 70 teams from 30 different countries compete to become your world champions. Youth and junior teams arrived in Rotorua today. Rotorua is the cultural hub of New Zealand and the teens were treated to a porphyry welcoming which is the traditional welcoming of the Māori people. The welcoming provides the blessings of the local tribe so that teams and competitors have a safe travel and safe blessings as they compete over the week. Join us for the next two weeks as we bring you results, updates and coverage of the World Rafting Champs here in Rotorua, New Zealand. Yo, this is a really funky beat, I want y'all to check it out cause it goes a little something like this. Hello everybody, welcome back to the 2013 World Rafting Champs. My name's Tuck and we are in sunny Kawedo checking out the Tarawera River as we watch the youth and junior teams compete. It has been an absolutely cracker day, it has been so good out here. The sun's been shining, the river's been flowing and the competition has been hot. It's been really, really tightly fought but in all honesty it looks like there's already some teams who are starting to take a really clear lead. And the under 19 women's the Brazilian women are just looking so strong and the under 19 men's it's also been some great racing as well we've had the champions Turkey take it out and that was pretty unexpected they weren't necessarily the ones who were, who were planned to take it out they weren't expected at all but uh, the Russians will definitely come back hard tomorrow as they usually do now I've caught up with the under 19 competitors and let's go have a look and see what they've had to say for themselves uh... Çok fazla çalıştık. Ee, been working for months and they got the result. It's a wonderful place. We are very happy uh, to be here. Also, it looks like where we are from, and uh, he would like to come 
again uh, again again for uh, travel purposes get it up 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 Todos es, nós estamos felizes porque the girls are very happy. It was a dream to be here in New Zealand and they trained a lot and it's you have to keep going on and win the all the competition. The under 23 competition was a good one today, with the Kiwi girls managing to make it a double, taking out both the time trial and the head to head race. In the men's division, the Russians took first place, and I managed to catch up with both those teams. Let's go have a look and see what they had to say. I'm feeling pretty good. Our team went out there and they went pretty strong right off the back of the neck, so we're stoked with our results today. You guys are looking nice and strong out there. How much training have you guys had leading up into this? Um, the team's had a fair bit of training, but here and there we've only come together over the last week or two, so it's the first uh, week or so that we've been together as a Wait a second, team. no, no, no. You're telling me that you've only had a week of training together? As a whole team, yes. You guys are phenomenal. Hey, well done on today. Great results. Looking forward to see you guys getting on that podium twice. And uh, you still got another two days of races. Anything you want to say to everybody before we uh, sign out of here? No, just go hard. Looking forward to the next couple of days. Great. All right. Good luck, ladies. Well done. And, uh, Big chair to the camera. Woo! <laughs> ten years, короче. Ten, ten years? Ten years, yes. And that explains why these guys are looking so hot right now. They're looking really strong. They're looking really together. Timing is everything, and you guys are looking really good. How do you feel about taking two of the disciplines out today? Mm. I'm so very happy. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. They're very happy. They don't speak much English, so this has been a long process getting to this point, but they're, they're absolutely on fire and they're looking forward to another two days. What is important for the next two days for your team to become the next world champions? Uh, I will, uh, uh, we will do uh, that we can. So that's us for today. It's been a great day of racing here in sunny Kawedo and we look forward to coming back here tomorrow for the Sarnam race. Now just so you know how it works, the time trial race is worth 100 points, the head to head is worth 200, the slalom is worth 300 and the down river is worth 400. So teams will really be wanting to heat it up for tomorrow's slalom racing. Look forward to catching you back here tomorrow. Yo, this is a really funky beat. I want y'all to check it out because it goes a little something like this. And welcome back to day two of competition here in Kawedo. We're on the Tarawera River and today it's the slalom. We've got the races racing behind me and it is a tough course. Tell you a little bit more about the course, we're going to go have a chat to Peter Mickler. Yeah, with the system in place here, uh, we can deliver the results right after the finish line, including the penalty points, which is a huge progress for rough slalom and I think everybody likes it. Peter, can you tell us about the course? All right, start 110 is a little bit of offset to the left and number two is actually behind a rock in an eddy and it's quite a approach you have to do very careful, not touching the gate. Gate number three is an easy eddy gate, but from there you have to really uh, make up your move to four and five. And then actually the trouble starts with six, seven and eight, that's offset gates. So you need to be in direction and before you actually are there to the next one. And down here at 9, 10, it's a very difficult offset. Some people do it with um, adding out before to river left and then go back. Or as we saw the Brazilians do it the other way around, adding out to the idea river, river right and then do it. Um, but you can, you can do it clean, actually. Some teams did it. And clean is always uh, the better choice than being fast and having a lot of 50s. This year's 
world champs have been hosted in the Te Arawa region and it is an absolutely stunning place and nothing epitomises it more than the Tarawera River. And we can go all the way to the source which is Lake Tarawera which is also the site of the 1886 volcanic eruption that absolutely devastated the area. That river comes all the way down and eventually heads underground before popping out at the beautiful Tarawera Falls which protrudes straight out of the cliffs and eventually come down to the little township here of Kawero where we're hosting the head to head and the slalom races. With the slalom racing done, it was an absolutely brilliant day today and I can tell you now that the Kiwis are pretty happy taking both the under 19 and under 23 women's divisions out. Gold medals all around for them and they're looking forward to a day of downriver tomorrow on the Rangitaiki River. In the men's, the Czech Republic managed to take the under 23 in a bit of a surprise win and also the Russian under 19 men's managed to take a gold medal as well. It was amazing, yeah, we just picked it up for our second run and yeah, we took it out so I'm very pleased. Nice, I know you guys were a bit disappointed yesterday because you didn't do quite as well as you hoped but you've taken away a win today, a gold medal. Yeah. Okay, now we've got tomorrow to go, how are you feeling about tomorrow? I'm really confident now, yeah, we've got our hands ready for the med uh, trophy and stuff so yeah, we're just going to have an early night and go. And I tell you what, these under 23 ladies must be quite an inspiration for you. Come, come in closer, Amy. Okay, you guys must be quite an inspiration for these ones because you've just won three gold medals. You've got one hand on the cup. Tell us how today's race went. Uh, we're, we're so happy with our outcome today. Um, we came in this morning a little bit nervous because slalom we didn't think was our strongest point. Uh, so we slowed it down at the start, got those gates, and then the second time we just wanted to give it our all. And the girls really pulled it out today. We were so stoked with our results. Oh, you should be so. You guys are looking really good out there. You're looking on form. I hope you guys can be our next world champions. I don't want to jinx it though. Crap, I don't want to jinx it. Okay, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we want to give it our all. Like We're so looking forward to the Rangitaiki, one of the local runs. It's a long run for us. We've got some strong girls and we want to be tired at the end. We want to give it everything. There's been some magnificent racing out here, some really good times. We've had the head-to-head, -head, the time trial, and of course the slalom today. And now we head out to a completely different place. We're going out to the Rangitaiki River tomorrow and that's where we're going to have the Down River, the final event for both the youth and junior divisions. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Kia ora and welcome back to the 2013 World Rafting Champs. I'm here on day three of competition, which is the last day for both the youth and junior divisions. And standing behind me are the teams as they get ready to take on the downriver race on the Rangitaiki River. The Rangitaiki River winds its way through the Kaingaroa Forest and here to tell us a little bit more about it is New Zealand Masters paddler Nick Chater. This is uh, a quite a remote area um, it's in the Kaingaroa Forest, um, the largest man-made forest in the southern hemisphere. All the land is owned by iwi or Māori and uh, again very, the riv rivers are always very spiritual and important to local Māori so they all have significance to each individual tribe. So I'm um, very lucky to have access to this area. It's renowned for fishing, for hunting, deer and pig. Um, and some really good um, for, 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 for walking and hiking. Um, so it, and of course the river is a, is a wonderful grade four and then the second part is grade three. Lovely, quite uh, continuous run. So we've just finished a downriver race for the under 23 women and I'm proud to say that I'm standing here with our new world champions, the under 23 New Zealand team. How are you guys feeling? Awesome! <laughs> 
right. Uh, Amy, tell us, how did it go? Uh, it was really good out there. We're, I'm um, pretty sure we're all burning right now. It's, it's a bit of pain going on, but the girls pushed through it so hard on those flats. We just went for it, man. Uh, what did you get for the head-to-head? -head? Uh, bronze. And then what were your last two, your slalom and downriver? Gold. And what does that mean? We're first. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, the downriver race, you guys absolutely smoked it. You blew it away. How did it go for you? It went amazing. Yeah, we all just worked together and we got through it. Amazing. Yeah, it just... I can't, can't think You're pretty it. happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get the <laughs> idea. <laughs> And tell me, Eduardo, what does victory mean to you? No, that's just, uh, uh, I'm, I'm so happy because we're training all year long and we, we live out our, our family in Brazil and they are sheer from, from, from us. And we are so happy because it's, uh, it, well, this, this is a dream for us. So they feel are very, very pretty good now. But uh, you know, the problem is that they do not feel that they are, they have become the world champions. It just will take some time for him, for them just to understand this. It's been a great day here at the Rangi Taiki River and we look forward to bringing you more action next week when we move on to the Opens and the Masters categories. While the big guns have arrived and they've come to compete, we're here just at the opening ceremony for the 2013 World Rafting Champs and in just under a week we will find out who will be your Open and Masters World Champions. Teams have been welcomed by traditional pōhiri and the tribe has offered their blessings for the week of competition.
Kia ora everybody and welcome back to the 2013 World Rafting Champs. I'm standing here in Rotorua and we're out at the Orkere River today, more commonly known as the Kaituna. And today was the sprint race for the Open and Masters categories. And it has been a great day of racing on this 800 metre stretch of river. <laughs> Great day of rafting and a great day of racing with some interesting results. New Zealand Masters men and the Open men both taking out gold medals with a surprise win in the Open women's. Great Britain taking the lead and starting off their campaign really well. Also in the Masters women, two teams in this category, both Russia and New Zealand, with New Zealand taking out that win. Let's go see what they had to say. Oh, we're a wrap day, we couldn't have asked for a better start. We, we wanted to put it on the line, we wanted to give ourselves the best comp chance for the rest of the competition. All the boys are really stoked, we couldn't have given more. Um, had some really nice lines and all the boys put everything in so that we couldn't have asked for more. If they were faster, they were going to beat us, so we're wrapped that we were the fastest team. <laughs> worked so hard for the last two years and it's just paying off now and all we have to do now is get on focus and this is just going to be the the way for the competition now <laughs> Pretty happy to come out on top. Um, it's pretty surprising when you look around at the, all of the teams. It's incredible. I've never seen like when you see GB, the Great Britain or Brazil or Chile paddling or Japan paddling a raft. You never seen one go so fast. So for us to be up in the same league, we're all pretty happy. <laughs> Kimmy, you and your husband have both done the double. You both have taken out the Masters categories. How does that feel? It feels um, awesome. It feels awesome to be a part of everything here. Um, very lucky. I tell you what, the stage has been set for a wonderful World Rafting Champs. Some interesting results today have led us to some great racing to be had tomorrow. Tomorrow's a head-to-head -head and it's going to take place right behind me here again on the Orkere River. Teams will be racing by side by side and I know that in the Opens category, the US team will be hurting after only losing by 0.1 of a second of getting a medal. And of course the Brazilian boys, traditionally really strong, out of the medal area, they will be hurting and they will be fighting to get some dominance back tomorrow. New Zealand have come away with a few wins, Great Britain are up there as well. Tomorrow is going to be so exciting, I look forward to catching you back then. <laughs> Kara Nortato and welcome back to the Orkere River in Rotorua. It has been a phenomenal day of racing here today. Head to head competition with oh, just with all the teams going at it. It has been fast, furious and aggressive. It has been absolutely brilliant. Let's go check out what the teams have to say. You both won golds in both events now. What's going to happen if one does and one doesn't? 
No, it's all good. Um, uh, Nick and, and his team have been training for a long time and uh, they've put in the hard yards and um, we're just so proud of each other, I think, for getting out there and doing it. Cool. Yeah, I think for me it's like as soon as you get off the water you celebrate your win but you straight away want to know what's Kimmy done, yes. you know, and so we win or lose, we want all the team New Zealand teams, particularly my wife, to do really well and we honestly mean that. We, we love racing, um, love being on the water, love having the, the, the whanau around us who paddle together and that's what it's about and to be able to race against the Czechs who said are a great team and, and, put, and, and come through first where we're wrapped. It's great, it's perfect, we were waiting for this one for 10 years, you know, like always second and third, so it's great. Have you been racing together for 10 years? Uh, yes, the first time World Championships was in Czech Republic in 2003 in Lipno. So yes, that's true. Oh, that's awesome. And what does this win mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot because, you know, we left uh, our kids at home and so, so, uh, you know, we are happy that we won today. <laughs>
Year's World chance of being hosted in the Te Arawa region and it is an absolutely stunning place and nothing epitomises it more than the Tarawera River and we can go all the way to the source which is Lake Tarawera which is also the site of the 1886 volcanic eruption that absolutely devastated the area. That river comes all the way down and eventually heads underground before popping out at the beautiful Tarawera Falls which protrudes straight out of the cliffs and eventually come down to the little township here of Kawero where we're hosting the slalom races. These are one of the powerhouses of world rafting. Brazil men's team are standing here and they have erupted today in the slalom competition taking out the men's competition in slalom. Tell me, how does that feel? Como que você sentiu? É um sonho realizado. And too much people don't believe you, our team, our team believe. Every time we believe you, we can. Today we we spend our power in this race. We know that champion seat begin today. It's been a great time here in Kaurau, it's been an absolutely festive time. The Tarawero River has really turned it on, the weather has been perfect and tomorrow we start a new competition. Tomorrow is where the big points are in. It's the Down River Racing tomorrow in Murupara. We make our way out to the Rangitaiki River where competitors will see who will be your next world champion. Kia ora everybody and welcome to the final day of racing for the 2013 World Rafting Champs. We're standing here at the Rangitaiki River at the Puddin, ready for race start of the Down River event. I tell you what, it's going to be a little bit of a different start today, where we head out in pods of five with a Le Mans style start, where racers will get actually run to their rafts, make their way into the water and take on the 15 kilometres of rapids ahead. So as you can see, these race starts are going to be so important. We've got 15 kilometers of river here to navigate on the Rangitaiki River. And let me break it down to you. One of the reasons why that start is so important because in the first few hundred meters, we enter the first of the class three, four rapids with rock A and B, a very tight technical stretch to get down. But almost straight after that, we are straight into the biggest rapid on this river. It's called Jeff's Joy. It's a massive slide and you don't want to be caught up in one of those groups there. We head further down the river and eventually we get to one of the few big passing spots which is a long two kilometre stretch of flat river before we make our way into that final six kilometres of rapid before we get to the end. And I'll tell you what, be interesting to see who our 2013 world champions are going to be. 
But I think uh, the advantage of being a master paddler is that your uh, ego has been satisfied uh, somewhat <laughs> earlier in the years, and um, so we don't get the same satisfaction that we might have got um, uh, previously out of like smashing people. And um, we're happy to have represented New Zealand well and um, not have shamed our country <laughs> or our families. The Brazilian boys have done it and they are emotional. The boys, they're behind me right now, they're cheering, they're chanting, they're doing their prayers. They are absolutely thankful for the position they've made. Here are your 2013 Open Men's World Champions. It was an absolute hard fought victory for the Brazilian men as they went on the downriver race leading out for the very start but being taken by an absolute masterful maneuver by the Japanese boys on rock A and B. But showing their strength, showing their determination, they get to the flat stretch, one and a half kilometers of absolute hard grind. They went raw power, absolute muscle, past the Japanese boys in the flat section to hold that lead and take the victory for the 2013 World Rafting Championships. Oh, it's, just, it's incredible, it's hard to describe, um, it's just our dream come true, we've been working hard at this since January and a win, win in our hometown um, in front of our family and friends, just yeah, can't describe it. Absolutely, obviously the uh, competition has been a little bit interesting for you guys with some ups and downs, run us through this down river race. Oh this is a gruelling race, eh? it's 50 minutes, um, you're pushing, you can't give any more by the end of it. So technical, so many rocks, if you don't keep yourself online you'll, you'll land on a rock and you'll lose 10 seconds, so very technical, very difficult. Um, all the countries that we've spoken to during the week love it, they think it's really good and technical um, and they were happy to come all this way to New Zealand and um, to race on it, so we couldn't ask for anything better. Over the last two weeks we have seen 70 teams from 30 different countries descend upon Otorua Aotearoa New Zealand for the 2013 World Rafting Champs. This brings us to a close and we appreciate you the audience hanging out with us. We look forward to seeing you next time in Brazil.